New at noon, Senator Marco Rubio elaborating on his plans for gun safety in the wake of the Parkland massacre. He talked to our CBS 12's Cara Duffy from Washington, D.C. this morning. She joins us now in the studio with what Marco Rubio had to say. Suzanne Terry, Senator Marco Rubio was very passionate as he highlighted some of those ideas. He said that he just met with the father of one of the students killed in Parkland and that seeing the anguish on the faces of these parents is the driving force to somehow find compromise within the controversy. Senator Marco Rubio honored to meet with Andrew Pollack and his family. This is a photo that the Florida Republican shared on Twitter. Pollock's daughter, Meadow, was one of the 17 people killed at Stoneman Douglas on Valentine's Day. When I see the pictures online of Meadow or some of the other students, I have kids that age. I have two daughters in high school now. I have two sons in, in lower school now. I have kids in the school system. It happened in Parkland, but it could have happened anywhere. Part of Senator Rubio's plan includes creating school threat assessment and crisis prevention teams, a collaboration between law enforcement agencies and school officials. He says it's similar to how the Secret Service protects the president. In Los Angeles, they have a list and they monitor constantly students and former students who could potentially risk, uh, pose a risk to themselves or to others, and they get ahead of it. They prevent them not just from buying guns, they prevent them from hurting themselves or hurting others before anything even happens. That did not happen here. Senator Rubio says those who don't act on those reports should and will be held accountable. If you work at the FBI and you didn't do this, you should be fired. If you uh, are the head of a school district that didn't do this, you should be fired. If you're a sheriff that didn't do this, voters can vote you out or you can be suspended. You know, Senator Rubio is also pushing to strengthen background checks, but we would need every state to fully report all relevant information to the National Background Check Database in order for that to be successful. Reporting from the studio, I'm Cara Duffy, CBS 12.